Well, hello folks. So, I wasn't planning on doing this video. Somebody saw my cable management video and wanted to know exactly how I have everything connected. So, I do on request videos. Not always. If they're going to be short, like this one will, presumably, then I can probably squeeze in a, a, an on request video. Okay, first off, I only have two cables coming off from my telescope and mount. One being the cable for the computer that goes off to the computer, and the other cable is the power cable. And this would be either connected up to a battery or my outlet down here. All right, let's take a look at how this is connected up. So the power cable, it gets connected up to here and it goes into my Pegasus Pocket Power Box. All right, and it gets uh, it's plugged in right here. And my first output, or actually it's the fourth output, which is labeled right here. This is fourth output. That one is connected up to the USB hub. So I've got a wired coming around here. And this is my powered USB hub. It's made by Sky T Star Tech. Now this is my third different powered USB hub that I have and I can feel confident uh, enough to recommend this StarTech one. It's got a metallic casing and it comes with these it comes with them brackets in here that you can install it horizontally, vertically or do whatever or install it any, any way you want. This and I've had it for a couple of years and I've used it for a couple of years now. This was recommended by somebody from Pegasus. Uh, Evans at Pegasus used one of these particular ones. So I've got it all labeled. Mount, auto guider, camera, my ZWO camera, my electronic filter wheel, the Pegasus power box, and my autofocuser. All right, so this wire right here, this is the USB wire that gets connected into the computer. It goes down around and off it goes. This wire right here comes from the Pegasus Pocket Power Box. Let's go back over to the Power Box and I'll show you how everything's connected up there. All right, so what are some of the other connections I have? Well, this right here, this is the mount. So the mount gets plugged in right here and the wire comes up right into here. This right here is the EAF, the ZWO electronic filter wheel. That's the power for that. This power right here, oh, that's the camera. <laughs> I should have figured that one. So that was the camera wire and that's connected way down to here. Okay, so what are the connections on this side up here? Well, this right here, these are the dew heaters. These two, this one and this one are my two dew heaters. One's connected to the auto guider tube and the other one's connected to the telescope. So they give you two outputs on this pocket power box for dew heaters. There's a new power box, uh, the ultimate power box or the ultimate power box two that has like four connections and more connections down here and it has its own USB hub connected to it. You pay a lot more for it, but it might be worth it. For me, I don't need it, or at least not right now. And also, there's another connection right up here, and that gets connected into the computer as well. That's a, a PC connection, so you can actually run this power box on the computer. However, I have this thing connected up to my up here, which is connected up to the powered USB hub. So this power box is connected to the USB hub twice. Once it's to run it, to, to run the from the computer, but I also have this connected up to here so it can supply the power for it. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these connections off the USB. This one right here, this one connects directly into the mount, okay? AG, that stands for auto guider. So this is connected into the auto guider, which is 
way over here, it's the Zeb 120 Mini. This one right here, this is the Zeb, this is the camera, so you'll notice over here in the camera, there's one for the power and then there's one for the USB. I have my electronic filter wheel, and that's also connected way down here, and that's also the, the Zeb 8 position USB, uh, 8 position uh, filter wheel. And right up here, that's the Pegasus power box, which I already showed, uh, already uh, talked about earlier. And then this is my Zeb EAF, electronic uh, automatic focuser, which is connected right here. I guess you can you can guess that I really like uh, Zeb products, which I've had good luck with them. Okay, and then I have the whole thing Velcroed. So it doesn't really move. Even if it's windy out, everything stays pretty much stable. And the other thing I can mention is it is real easy for me to take this scope off of this mount and put it to my other mount. Because all I since I only have these two wires that are actually coming off from this whole system, I just unplug these two wires and I just take this whole thing off and I can plop it on my other mount which is not right here right now. But uh, usually I, I have a, I set my other mount up in the front of my uh, house w during the summertime. So I, cause I don't have a really great view from where my shed is, but in the front of my house, I have a much better field of view so I can, you know, I'll set up out there. But it's like I said, it's real easy to take this thing off. I don't have to disconnect anything else. Now what happens if I am going off site somewhere even further? Well, it's also, all I really have to do is take this camera off and this metallic plate holds all this stuff in place. All I have to do is disconnect the wires or some of the wires and I have a little container that I just put this whole apparatus into uh, with the rings and all. I don't take it off the rings and I can just transport it to a location off-site. And it's real easy. The, the telescope comes off pretty easily. The Velcro just comes off. And then this thing just, but this whole thing stays together. So even if I have to go off-site, it's pretty easy the way I have it rigged up right now. Okay, well, that was my first uh, on request or by request video that I made. So hope this uh, helps. Uh, like I said, it's I've been Having good luck for the past couple years with my cable management. So, anyways, I think that's all. We'll see you later.